So, uh, <laughs> I don't know what that was all about, do you? Um, we're diving into uh, home plate here, head first. No idea what's going to come out of this video tonight. Uh, normally I'll give myself a second or two just to think of a word or something. <laughs> well, not tonight. Not tonight I started with this. Kind of like making a fire. Have you ever done friction fire before? Oh, they make look. <laughs> make it look so easy on uh, wherever you're watching it but um, I've seen some people take like well I've actually not physically watched the whole time but uh, I've seen people take like m many hours to get it going it doesn't matter everything about it has to really be perfect like there has to be enough air getting in so that when an ember starts it'll not go out right away and the minute you start seeing smoke, you, you gotta be encouraged by that and go a little bit longer. Don't just stop and then boom. And then you get it out and you gotta put your tinder bundle and just blow it to life. And then when you get the leaves on top of some twigs and when you get it going, oh. Yeah. Good times. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't know that feeling. <laughs> I've used flint and steel. Uh, and got a fire going before, but I've never gotten friction fire to work for me. I've gotten plenty of smoke, but um, I, I need to build my own kit because I haven't done that and I've only used other people's and I think the way they feel comfortable doing it would be different than the way I would feel comfortable doing it. So it's a matter of finding these items and putting them together and, and crafting them and I'd really like to like the cordage, I'd love to find it naturally um, there is bamboo around here. I might be able to do something like weave it together, braid it, and do like a few feet of it, and then just pull it tight on a bow, and then you know, lock your piston and just go to town. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I've never gotten a friction fire going. I think I could, though, if I was in better shape. Maybe that's a good way to get in shape. Just keep doing friction fires. That that's just seems like a... Uh, it seems like a, a good healthy way to stay healthy uh, I'll have to talk to you about it sometime period I think it's pretty fantastic period <laughs> Ken are you watching these brother? <laughs> I gotta send them a link to uh actually why don't I do that now? Uh well I can't. That's a little difficult. Alright, I can do this. Let's work miracles together. Let's open up my channel in a new window. Or a new tab rather. And then we gotta search videos. This is difficult. Uh I think it's Vincent. I don't know. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh my god, that's weird. I d did a search for Vincent and Crick 2, <laughs> The Further Adventures of Jason. Those are fun. If you've never seen those, check those out. Those are the Creek videos. Um, so we'll call this video 3, 3 minutes and 45 seconds. Video 3, 3, 45, Crick. <laughs> and 2. And then video 1. Sorry about this. You know I hate doing this, but if I don't do this, I don't add those links. I have so many times that I've gone back and watched videos just to look at a comment or something. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh damn it, <laughs> look at me pointing there <laughs> at nothing. What am I going to put there? Who knows? Something's going to end up here at 417. <laughs> or 420. No. <laughs> I could just go on all night. That'll be my ongoing joke for the night. Um, it's interesting though that it didn't come up. Maybe I gotta go to the playlist and then do this? No. No, no, no. Okay. No, I don't want to play all. Please don't play. Okay. So, how do I? No. Oh god. <laughs> Video manager. There we go. Um. Okay, uh. How do you want to die? I just want to know. <laughs> uh, the Game Over Greggy Show 
tackle this like if you were being executed which form of execution and you could come up with your own but I, I, I want to take it a step further but that was today their episode today that went up free on YouTube I'm not going to link that because um, I've emailed him a few times about different Oreos he hasn't tried yet and I'm sure other people do too but I mean eh, I just thought I'd get a response I get responses from a lot more people than you would think you'd get responses from when you email them. Um, that's why I always try. And if he... <laughs> that, that's terrible. He's a good guy. He's a funny guy. I like him. And he's an honest guy. So uh, I can't complain about him. But I just thought, you know. Oh... Uh, Elderly? Is that what I call them? Origin of the Elderly Forces. I think that's the one. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know how I'd want to die. I really don't. I mean, honestly, hopefully very old, very healthy in my sleep. Uh, if I'm healthy, I have the nerdiest of friends. Let me, let me just interrupt my death <laughs> with, um, I posted some pictures tonight that I had been working on and I showed them to you earlier. Daily doodles trying to challenge myself a little more. So I put the gym picture up and I put the other one up. If you guys aren't friends with me on Facebook, I know most of you guys are, but if you're not, uh, send, me a, send me a friend request. Either way you can see all this stuff. Uh, so I posted them and I said I, you know, uh, trying to challenge myself. So my friend Mark Davis said, uh, we all know you're a challenge, brother. <laughs> I can see him and hear him saying it. I wish he lived closer, him and, uh, Sean, because the two of them I feel like are people who I would hang out with, like, <laughs> on, on a regular basis. <laughs> I think that's my new laugh. I don't know. I'm working on it. <laughs> then Peter Burnt says, I challenge you to a duel. Roll initiative. <laughs> he doesn't know that Mark Davis plays D&D also. So it's just a funny thing that, like, these little connections that we make in life. So when I die, Boston's tied up 3-3. Three three. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know about death anymore. I used to think I knew. Um, I think I've said this before. This very same conversation. Uh, there just comes this time when you're like... When I was younger, I, I believed in the, the Christian theology. and You know, that's how life was going to end up. When all was said and done. Me, 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 me. Wah, 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 wah. Um, but as I've kind of grown up and I don't necessarily believe those things anymore I do want to believe like but I can't make myself believe something and I think that's important to not make yourself believe something you don't believe in um, but at the same time if there's a void or a gap from losing that you should try to find something productive to fill that gap with I don't okay whoa <laughs> whoa 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 where are we going with this um, an afterlife. Okay, so if death leads to a happy afterlife, no matter what it is, it's happy, then, I mean, I'd still like to go painlessly in my sleep at an old, healthy age. <laughs> or, or, I want to be as healthy as long as I'm alive. If I get to the point where I'm not healthy, then, like, I don't know. Then it doesn't really matter anymore, anyway. But, so, peacefully in the sleep, or, you know, I'd love to go heroically, saving someone's life, or, or doing something like that, you know? I mean, it doesn't matter after the fact, like, I'm sure, yeah, they celebrate your name for a week, if you're lucky. <laughs> but, like, everyday heroes are forgotten, like, I'm sure not on a small scale, like, to people's families and stuff like that, which is all that should, nothing should matter, and altruism is dead, it's just like... For me, it's just like, I want to believe in altruism, but I feel like there can be no true altruism. You're always doing something for yourself. Like, even when you're doing something for somebody, 
oftentimes you enjoy, even if you don't intend to go out of your way, you enjoy the feeling you get seeing them satisfied. Even if you don't, even if it's like a secret Santa and you never tell the person or something like that, or um, a situation where you could come forward and be like, yeah, that was me, like, and you don't. I think even that, that emotional, like, is is something you're attaining from it. You know what I mean? Like, you, or you're getting from it. You're you're not requiring anything, but you're getting it. I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, um, that's another thing. I gotta change my um, status on my license for organ donor. When I was younger, someone crazy told me something about like, oh, you don't want to be an organ donor because there's crazy people out there that get into databases and they find out what blood type you are and they come and they steal your organs <laughs> or they kill you in some way shape or form hit you with a car or something so that they can get your organs that's crazy <laughs> i'm sure it happens on ver you know astronomically crazy um what's the word i'm looking for percentages uh that's not the word uh the chances are astronomical basically is what I'm trying to say that 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 situation would happen what situation I've already forgotten <laughs> it's gonna be one of those nice this is a lot stronger than I thought I need to ease off so uh, I'm gonna let you guys go on this one I probably won't be back <laughs> if I do you'll never see it <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go share this uh, video thing with my friend so you guys have a great night. Thanks for always coming by. Don't forget to make somebody smile tomorrow. Make the world spin a little happier together. Here's to a few more tomorrows. Good tomorrows. And uh, if you're loving these, share them, subscribe, like them. Thank you so much. Uh, you guys have a great night, and I'll catch you on episode 67 of The Road to 40. The Road to 40?